Hello, I'm Andrew and uh, I'd like to help you, if I may, with some healthcare calculations to try and put them in some sort of perspective or context. Um, I'll be using some pretend uh, hospital prescription charts that they're not, they haven't got all the details, they haven't got the patient's name and they haven't got the hospital on. But as I say, it puts it in some sort of context uh, and they look like this. There are two basic types here. There's the as required prescriptions, as it says, and all we're really looking for is the actual dose, which will be recorded there, not particularly the route, although that's all part of it, uh, and sometimes uh, the frequency. But for a single dose, you don't normally need that. So there's that type, and also the type where we have a regular medication and that's more important to know how often that medication is being given again we'll have the dose possibly the route but it's the frequency very often which is important and you'll find say it's done at eight o'clock we'll have a little ring around that uh, and 14 and 18 hundred hours and so on so those are the basic two types and we'll be doing later on some uh, drips uh, and some pumps as well Okay, let's start with uh, one of the simpler ones here. Here's uh, a paracetamol which has been uh, prescribed and we've got here the dose of 500 uh, milligrams. Now, the question we have is, and this is down to the bottom here, you are supplied with 250 milligram tablets. How many do you give for one dose? Well, okay, it's a fairly simple answer, isn't it? But what we do is we take the 500 milligrams, write that down, don't have to put the mg by it at this stage, but you can if you want to. And we're saying, well, that's what has been prescribed, and what have I got? I often say, what have I got under the shelf? Uh, and in fact, I've got 250 milligrams. Uh, and it's worth checking again that we do have milligrams and milligrams. We haven't got grams and milligrams or micrograms. So we've got, in other words, oranges and oranges as opposed to oranges and lemons. We've got to get them uh, in the same unit. And we have here straight away. Now, you might say, well, the answer's obvious. How many 250s are there in 500? Well, it's obviously two. Uh, if you don't see that, you can always uh, take the noughts off at the end, but be careful. We're really saying divide by 10. How many 10s in 500? It's 50. How many 10s in 250? 25. Uh, and we can go again. We can divide by 5 if we want to. How many 5s in 50 uh, is 10? How many 5s in 25? 5. And again, we're down to how many 5s in 10. And yes, the answer is, of course, 2. But don't forget, the units. So you might put the answer in uh, as 2, but don't forget what you are giving. Uh, and in this case, it's 2 tablets. So important to put the units in, whether they're mills or tablets, or even capsules or caplets, as sometimes we find. So there's a fairly simple one. Just remember, some people say, what do they want, and what have I got, or what do they need, and what have I got? But the answer is fairly straightforward. Don't forget the units, in this case, tablets.